Hello fellow readers, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing my game TBR Tarot to help me determine what books I'm reading in October for this spooky season. That being said, let's get started! The first card that I pulled was the Ten of Pentacles. This is going to be a mystery or thriller that is a current year release. The book that I've decided for this is actually going to be Daisy Darker. This one I got earlier in the year in my book the month box um, and from what I know about it it's about a family that goes to in like an isolated island um, to celebrate like their grandma's birthday or something like that and that is where we have our murder mystery setting. This really reminds me of like the guest list where there was like a wedding on an isolated island with a murder and so I'm just very intrigued. I want to try this one out. I enjoyed that last book and so I am interested in seeing how this one is too. I've also never read from this author before so I'm very intrigued to see like how I like it, how it compares to the other book that was very similar to this too and yeah I'm just really curious in general so I am excited to try this one. The next card that I pulled was the Four of Wands. This one is going to be a fantasy or sci-fi with a four plus rating on Goodreads. The book that I've chosen for this is Babel. As you can see on the side, Babel. I am so excited to read this. It obviously took BookTube by storm recently and everyone has been so excited about it. Um, I know this author is already very popular and I actually haven't read from this author yet so this will be my first introduction but I am so excited to try it. Um, from what I know about it has to do with like a lot with translations and language um, hence like the Tower of Babel. Um, I think it also takes place at like Oxford or like some kind of prestigious university um, and so I'm hoping that this has like really dark academia vibes and I don't know just looking at it I'm like it seems so fitting for this month and I am so excited to read it so <laughs> that being said I'm very glad this one is on my TBR. The next card that I pulled was the star. So this one can be any genre as long as it is a author of color. The book that I have chosen is The Weight of Blood. This is by Tiffany D. Jackson and I've read one other book by her before which was Grown. I absolutely loved it. Um, it was like a deeper darker topics but I thought that was very well addressed and it was just very interesting to learn more and so I'm very intrigued to pick this one up too. From what I know about this it is kind of like a retelling of Carrie and I'm just so excited to see what the author does with this so this is my next book. The next card that I pulled is the Two of Pentacles. This one is going to be another mystery or thriller and it will be a random draw. So what I've actually done is I put together a bunch of little slips in my little book box here and I am just going to mix them up and choose one of them. So that being said, let me just mix these up over here where I can't see them. 
and then I will randomly choose one. All right, let me go with this one. Okay, I'm very excited about this. I got Killers of a Certain Age. This one is another super recent book. So this one, what I know of is that it's about like some older women who are like ex-CIA or something like that. Um, and now they're kind of like assassins for hire or something like that. And I don't know, I'm just really excited about this. It's by Deanna Rayborn, who wrote the Veronica Speedwell series as well. I read the first book in that series um, and I thought it was really good. And so I'm excited to see what this author has to bring for this book. The next card that I pulled was the Eight of Cups. This one is going to be a romance or contemporary that is by a favorite author. The book that I have chosen for this is A League of Gentlewomen Witches. Um, this is by India Holton, who also wrote The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels, which I read either earlier this year or last year and I absolutely consumed that book. It was just really cute. I loved like the ladies who were not scared to just like be who they were in this kind of like older society and I mean this one just felt fitting because it's about witches hence this season. Um, so I'm very excited to try this one out as well. The next card that I pulled is the Moon card. So again, this can be any genre as long as it has LGBTQIA plus rep. The book that I chose for this is actually A Dowry of Blood. I have heard nothing but good things about this book and I am so excited to get to it. What I know about this book is that it is a retelling of like Dracula's brides and I have heard that there is some kind of queer relationship going on in this too and so I'm just very excited for this. I have heard nothing but good things and I think it's also pretty short in comparison to some of my other books that I have on this list so I'm hoping that will like balance out maybe babble. So that being said that is my sixth book. The last card that I have is the Knight of Pentacles. This one is going to be another mystery or thriller and it will just be whatever I happen upon on Instagram and Goodreads that I have on my TBR. So I was very lucky um, and I have actually found this photo of someone who was like doing a giveaway and like pulled 70 books from their shelves and so I had a wide variety of books to consider. The ones that I was really drawn to were In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, My my lovely wife and then his and hers and I decided to go with his and hers. From what I know about this book it's like a domestic thriller um, but that's pretty much all I know about this book so I am very interested to see what happens in this book. I totally didn't realize but this is the same author as my first book. <laughs> So I really hope I like this author's writing, otherwise I'm going to be screwed this month. All right, so these are my books in addition to Weight of Blood and A Dowry of Blood for this month. I am going to say not all of these are giving me like spooky season vibes, um, so I think I am going to have to mix in some other books to just give me a little bit more of those spooky vibes that I'm looking for, but I do think this is a really good start and I'm very excited to try a lot of these books, so I'm excited for this month. That is all I have for you today. 
If you liked this video, please like and subscribe down below. It would really mean so much to me and just really help me out. So I would definitely appreciate that. While you're down there, why don't you leave me a comment? I'm talking about what books you're picking up this month. Are you trying to also find some spooky reads or are you just transitioning to fall, some fall reads anyways? And if you have read any of these books, please let me know what I'm getting myself signed up for. Until next time, keep reading!